inputs and outputs are really important. I've talked about logic gates a lot recently on videos, and this AND gate I've got behind me is something I've shown off quite a few times. When we have this lever and this lever powered, our output will be powered. Each of these redstone torches is normally holding on a redstone torch in the back here, keeping it in the off position. So this redstone lamp won't be able to turn on unless both of the inputs are powered, turning off these torches and letting this redstone torch actually become powered by turning off this redstone dust. Either of these being off means that the torch is on, so our output will be off. Our input are the levers, and our output here is basically this redstone lamp, where the torch is sending its power. But you can make this in all kinds of configurations, and it will still be an AND gate. We can spread it out a bit like this, and we have something similar here, where we have the two redstone torches that are constantly sending in power, but turning them off will let our output turn on, by turning on both of our inputs. So this is still an AND gate. It functions in the same way, even if it is bigger and looks a bit different. Like something like this, which still is an AND gate. We've got a lot of inversions going on here, but at the end of the day, our two inputs need to be on, this one, and this one, for our output to be on all the way up there. We have some inversions going on here, but ultimately, we just turn off one redstone torch, and same goes here, allowing one to turn on here, and even though it sends the inversion up a few times with some more not gates, this is still, at the end of the day, an AND gate, from our inputs to our output. Both of these need to be on, otherwise, it's off. Leave your redstone questions in the comments and subscribe for more daily tips. Join the Discord too to see when streams are and to download this world. Help support me on coffee if you can too. Peace.